Hello friends, I'm your Tracy's Total Wellness Girl with Wellness Wednesday. Today I wanted to share with you a great way so that you can be more of yourself when you're in community and also be aware of some hints as to when you're not in the best space. So number one thing is if you're ever feeling the bad vibe, even if it's from people that you know, they could be dealing with something that you need to protect yourself with. For those of you that saw my Wellness Wednesday video post about lemongrass, you can spiritually connect and protect yourself with that lemongrass and setting rituals can really help with those bad, bad vibes of people that you care about. So that's number one, is if you're feeling the bad, any bad vibes, you are probably in the midst of some kind of bad energy or somebody else's stuff. Number two is if you're questioning whether you're in a good space, you might not be in a good space. Meaning if you're like, mm, I'm not feeling like this is the best place, but I'm here with my friends. It could even, you're just like out to trivia or you could be even in the grocery store. If you're questioning whether you feel like the space is good, it's probably not. Now it could just be some of that bad vibe space or it could be there's potentially your intuition saying something is not going to go well here. And really start to tap in to when your intuition gives you those little cues because it can help you to set stronger boundaries for yourself so that you can feel in control of the space you're in at all times. It can also be a great time for you if you're getting those questions of how you might be able to step into leadership role and take control of the space. Maybe there's just somebody else that's bringing it down or you're noticing that there's other people that potentially aren't honoring other people's space and say you're at trivia and there's these people just being inappropriate. It could be as easy as you going to the manager and saying, hey, you know, those guys are just kind of saying some things that are, I feel are a little inappropriate for a public place. Would you mind just chatting with them? A lot of times when we're in spaces and we step up in leadership role and we ask for a space to be more authentic, more safe, other people are ready to jump at the chance as well. So that's number two. If you're questioning if the space is safe or it, mm, if it's good, there might be some things that need to be tweaked. If it's something that feels dangerous, then either you go and you find somebody that can help with that situation or you get out of there. Enough said there, right? My third tip that I wanted to share with you to just check in to how the space is feeling is your body. Your body is going to tell you everything. If you are tensing up, I tend to see it here with a lot of clients, here, uh, women a lot actually squeeze their glutes when they're feeling stressed or not in a good situation. Listen to your body. It could be that one spot. So for me, this shoulder, it, it's just my shoulder, right? It will start to like tense up when I'm not in a good space. It could be even just the mental capacity of the space I'm in by myself. It could be when I'm out in public, could be anything, but that's usually my indicator if this starts to bother me. Okay, something needs to shift. So listen to those cues of your body. It could be, oh, I get this one a lot too, or squinting. If you notice you're not breathing, some people will feel it in their throat. Use your body as an indicator of how you can reset the way you're being present in that moment. And then check in with your body. It'll help you to check in with your intuition so that you can stay in alignment and being present in the space you're in. So these are three great ways, especially when you're with other people in environments, how you can stand in your presence and stand in your power. Number one, you want to make sure the space is always safe and you're in this safe space. If you're feeling those negative vibes, tap in to see what they are. Number two, if you're questioning at all if this space is good or safe, probably there's something that needs to be evaluated. And number three, if your body is tensing up or getting some of those little tweaks, as I call them, check in with that. It could be a great indicator of how you can reset. This is Tracy sharing some amazing community tips with you today. 
if you have more questions about this, this is something I have been diving deeper into this year as well as last year, experiencing more opportunities for women to come in safe space from retreats at the beach, VIP days at the beach, my local events, plus some of my weekend events. And I would love to help you if you're ready to step up in the leadership position and create these, or if you're interested in any of my Tracy's Total Wellness, as I call it, community medicine events, please feel free to reach out. And as always, if you're not part of the Tracy's Total Wellness community, see below so that you can be a part of this mission and movement for women to be unapologetic and feel safe to be exactly who they are. This is Tracy with your Wellness Wednesday and some tips for community safety and presence. Be well.